Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite milkshakes we've been doing lately. And if you've seen my other video on the peanut butter chocolate milkshake, I'll link it somewhere above. You'll know that the milkshakes I make are super easy and delicious. So this is a pretty similar recipe. Um, we're going to get started. When I use my nut butter of almond butter, you could use whatever nut butter you'd like. It doesn't have to be almond. Um, you could use the powdered peanut butter, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, I like this raw almond butter from Trader Joe's. We get the creamy. Sometimes I get the chunky. It kind of depends. Um, but lately we've been doing creamy. So we're going to get started. You just need a, a high speed blender. Really any blender will work for this. Um, one cup of unsweetened nut milk, whatever you want to use. I have almond milk here. Just make sure it's unsweetened. Or you can make it at home yourself. Um, I'm going to use this glass to pour this smoothie back in, so we're going to save that. And then um, a couple of the star ingredients is a frozen banana. Now if you're not going to use a frozen banana, you could use ice cubes to make your smoothie really nice and cold. Um, I really like using a frozen banana because it gives it sweetness, um, it's good for you, I like bananas. So I just cut up one frozen banana. The second star ingredient is our strawberries. So we're not using jelly in this, we're actually going to use real fruit. Um, Whole Foods had strawberries on sale for like $2.99 um, per pint. So if you are in the Pittsburgh area, make sure you go out and get some strawberries, but they looked great. So I would say around a cup of fresh strawberries. Uh, you could do more. If you try this at the end and you notice it's not as strawberry flavored as you'd like, just go ahead and cut up a few more. You can use frozen strawberries for this as well, whatever you have on hand. Um, one thing I like to sneak into this drink is chia seeds and flax seeds. Uh, my husband isn't as good at getting in flax seeds every day or chia seeds, so when I make this for him, I just always put it in there. So I'm going to do one tablespoon of chia, which I already have grounded up. I just grind it in a um, coffee grinder and then store it in our refrigerator. And then I have our flax seed, which I'm also going to do a tablespoon. So he doesn't even know he's getting this, and it adds an extra amount of flavor to it. You can leave them out if you don't like them though, this is optional. And then I'm just going to add a tablespoon of almond butter. Um, like I said, you could use any nut butter that you like, it really doesn't matter. Um, totally optional. So I'm just going to do a tablespoon. And then we're going to blend and that's it. This is such an easy recipe. I call it my peanut butter and jelly milkshake. Um, you can call it whatever you like. It's delicious. And I will see you guys in a minute when I blend it up to show you the final product. But it makes this gorgeous pink color. I blended it up. It looks kind of pinkish, purplish, but it's a really pretty color. You can add more strawberries, whatever you like. This is just how we like it. And it's all done. Super simple. Let me grab a straw and then I'll try it out, but I already know it's good. This has been a staple pretty much after we work out um, at night time. Usually like at something sweet at the end of the day. Uh, is when my husband asks for it or when I, we make it. I usually don't start my morning off with this. I always start my morning off with oatmeal. But this would be a great, you know, breakfast, snack, whatever you, whatever you're feeling that day. And it's going to be perfect for the hot days of Pittsburgh that I know are coming soon. So good. It definitely tastes like a peanut butter and jelly. Um, so I hope you guys make this. If you are not subscribed. Please subscribe and make videos every week. I'd love for you guys to be a part of our community we're building and make sure you like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.